<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to uh, this audio podcast. This audio podcast is part of a uh, Storm and Apostics article. This audio podcast is part of a Bellow and Raw. This audio podcast is part of a Chrome edition. And this audio podcast is part of a Storm and Apostics production. Uh, now, uh, in today's uh, audio podcast, um, uh, I will be looking at the uh, at some of the uh, uh, sort of uh, some of the the underlying anatomy, if you like, of, of myasthenia, or myasthenia gravis. So the disease or the condition, the condition more most commonly or most commonly has effect, uh, affects the muscles that control eye, contrite or ocular and eye uh, and eyelid movements. So the first, so the first symptoms, fi- the first symptoms that. Uh, clinicians or uh, uh, clinicians are are, are, are uh, clinicians and medics um, tend to be uh, aware of um, a no, uh, tend to be aware of is uh, is eyelid uh, a sort of eyelid uh, drooping and uh, and or blurred or doubled vision um, uh, double uh, uh, or blurred or blurred uh, uh, or blurred and or uh, sort of double vision and uh, in uh, in among, uh, in literature, this uh, this uh, is referred to as uh, as ptosis uh, uh, diplopia, uh, topis, uh, uh, to- uh, ptosis dipl- uh, diplopia, um, and um, many myasthenia gravis recipients start out with uh, uh, start out with this ocular myasthenia. The majority will go on to go on to develop or, uh, go on to develop weakness in other muscle in other muscle group uh, other muscle groups within one or uh, one or two years um i uh, in around um uh in around uh, the uh uh sort of uh some of the terminologies uh if you like in around the uh, anat- from an anato- anatomical basis uh it is the uh the uh, obo- uh, bo- uh orbicularis uh, bo- uh, orbicularis uh, oculi um, that muscle, that muscle that controls eyelid movement, uh, eyelid, uh, or eyelid movement that is affected, and the, uh, the, the, um, the, uh, the, the, the masseter, 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 uh, masseter uh, is and can be affected, affected. That is the jaw muscle that is used, uh, used, used for chew, uh, for chewing. Uh, so um, in myasthenia, in myasthenia recipients, the anatomical, the anatomical basis, um, anatomical, um, uh, anatomical uh, 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 aspects that are linked, uh, that are that are that are more closely linked to uh, the, um, the, um, uh, the 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 uh, the fun- uh, functions of uh, functions in and around neuromuscular junction or. Uh, Neuromuscular junction are uh, uh, in around the neuromuscular junction, um, and uh, the um, and and uh, those anatomical anatomical uh, sort of um, anatomical uh, anatomical uh, anat- uh, those anatomical uh, sort of uh, parts parts that have have uh, have uh, have uh, a uh, have more uh, have more sort of nerve cells nerve cells more nerve cells uh, more nerve cells than uh, than any other than uh, than uh, than uh, than other uh, anatomical spaces are affected are affected of uh, uh, sort of first uh, first and foremost that draws uh, this uh, audio podcast to a close uh, this audio podcast as Part of a storm and Bostics article. This audio podcast is part of a bellow and raw. This audio podcast is part of a Chrome edition, and this audio podcast is part of a storm and Bostics production. <laughs>